Hi, my name is Sebastian van der Schrier. I'm a former social anxiety disorder sufferer and a social confidence coach. And I help people feel calm, at ease, relaxed, confident in social situations. And this week I'm answering a question that I received from ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Andrea. So Andrea says, Hi, my following question might have nothing to do with the video. This was posted on their YouTube video. But I was wondering if you could sometime talk about when you can't connect with people and you get bored in social situations. <clears throat> what aspects do you have to work on in order to not only feel comfortable in social situations, but also take the best out of every interaction? In my case, it's like I'm not present and my participation is minimal, even when I'm around family. It makes me feel selfish especially <clears throat> when I see the other person is making an effort to socialize. But I really don't want to be like this. Thank you for any help you can provide. You've helped me a lot so far. Hope you're doing great. See you around. So, um, first of all, um, Andrea, thank you for your question. Great question. So, a um, few quick tips. So, um, when you can't connect with people, it means you're still disconnected from yourself. Because you can only connect with others to the degree that you're connected to yourself. So, um, so this is mostly a matter of self-acceptance or rather a lack of self-acceptance. So you're still too much in your head. You're still calculating. You're still judging. You're still analyzing rather than you're being present in the moment. And it even already says it here in the message. You know, I really don't want to be like this. Right? I understand that it's very frustrating that you, um, that you feel bored and that you can't connect and, and all of that kind of stuff. And you got this internal chatter going on. But that's the remaining problem that you have. But there's also judgment about it. It shouldn't be this way. It's frustrating that I have it. Why is that there? It's so annoying. And those feelings on top of the remaining problem that you have kind of lock that problem into place and prevent it from being able to shift and change. Because in order for our change to happen, you need to be in acceptance of where you're at. Um, let me see. Hmm. I get bored in such situations. Da -da 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 -da, in case it's not present. Yeah, it makes me feel selfish. That's, an, that's another thing, okay? So that's a judgment of yourself, all right? So now you're in a social situation and you're aware that you're bored or you're not participating and now your inner voice goes, I was like, so, so, so selfish. And you're judging yourself. So now you're making yourself move away from, even further move away from where you want to be, which is present and connected, okay? So, um, you know, self-acceptance work is the solution here, right? So there's there's more work to do on that front. I can't go deeper into that here on this video because I don't know the actual situation. You know, it'd be a lot easier in a coaching session, but something uh, like this is just, I can just give you some quick tips. So uh, I struggled with that myself for a long time where I was just bored and uh, <clears throat> it was just like, man, everyone is just lame. And uh, I don't really want to be here. Uh, I'm not necessarily anxious, I thought. You know, I wasn't really anxious, but just tense, not relaxed, not totally at ease. I was, I was still having rules in my mind about how I had to be and how I should not be. And especially also how other people had to be and how they shouldn't be. So I was judging them. You know, uh, this guy's thinking he's all that and this girl is... Uh, uh, you know, way too concerned about how she's coming across and, you know, they're just having a boring conversation and this one is seeking approval and this one, you know, is just like, why are they even talking about a topic like this and blah, 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 blah. And all of that judging is taking, it was taking me out of the moment. And so then you can't be present. Now that judgment of them was actually a projection of my own self-judgment. Other words, lack of self-acceptance. So by dissolving that self-judgment that I have, that I had, it would turn into self-acceptance. 
a little Freudian slip there. I still have some self-judgment. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and uh, that then helped m me to not be so judgmental of other people, which brought me into the present, and as a result, I could connect. Okay, so hope it's been helpful. Thanks for your question, great question. Um, if you're watching this, I also have a podcast where I interview um, best-selling authors, uh, psychologists, coaches, healers, psychotherapists for their best social anxiety solutions. I have a lot of interviews at the beginning of my podcast. So at the start, I think I have like 50 or 60 interviews. And then it's quite a bunch of times me with interviews every now and then in between. But I'm most likely going to start interviewing a bunch of people again. So I'll have some time on my hands in the nearby future. So it's going to be real cool. So make sure you're signed up and subscribe to that podcast. You can find it in iTunes or Spotify. It's called Social Anxiety Solutions. All right. I'll um, release another video like this next week on Thursday. That's what I do. You can subscribe here. And uh, yeah, I look forward to connecting with you next week. Again, and if you have a question, let me know. All right, bye for now.